You're listening to She's the Business Podcast. Okay, so today's episode is all about how I added $100,000 in revenue to my business in just a year. And that was in addition to what I was already doing. And this was through digital products. So I'm sure you're like, okay, how on earth did you do that? How did you add that amount? And I didn't change my working days, my hours, the effort that I was putting into my business remained relatively the same. There obviously were a few little times where I had some extra effort going in because when you're creating something new for the first time, then obviously it takes a bit more effort than when something's already there and you can rinse and repeat. But this was what happened. Hi, I'm your host, Jessica Osborne, and in my 23 years of business and marketing, I've built many brands to become multi-billion dollar companies. And just in the last 10 years, I've built two online businesses of my own from my dining room table with two little babies running around at my feet. I've made it my mission to inspire you to get out of your own way and become the successful business owner who's living the lifestyle you really desire without all the hustle. This is She's the Business podcast made by women for women. This is your weekly dose of motivation and inspiration. So let's start at the very beginning and head back to 2019. This was when I was working primarily doing one-to-one business coaching. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I had amazing clients. We were getting great results and I was enjoying it so much. The thing is that I found that I was at capacity, you know, and only a handful of clients. I don't know. I heard stories of some people who would do, you know, 10 to 20 clients, even working with them all at once and doing sessions every day, you know, 20 sessions in a week. And I just thought, I don't even know how they possibly can do that because I put so much energy into my sessions. How could I actually manage to serve that many clients and serve them well and, you know, really provide everything that I'm providing right now. So I was maxed out at around the five or six people. And even then I was like, oh, this feels a lot. It's, uh, you know, hard to keep track of everything with every business. I knew straight away, I was like, this is, this is my limit with the one-to-one, but I was not at my revenue goals. You know, I was quite away from them and I, I was looking at the numbers and I'm diving into them, doing exactly the same thing that I do with my clients. Like, how do I make these numbers add up to what I want to achieve in my business? And it didn't matter what I did with the numbers there wasn't any way for me to get there unless I looked at changing what I was doing, how I was offering my services. So the logical next step was, right, well, if I change from one to one to one to many, what would that look like and how could I do it? So I'd set about in a long winded way, looking at how I could take my one-to-one coaching and actually put that out as a digital product, like as an online course. And would that work? Could that help me? And of course, when you start looking at online courses, then you suddenly don't have a capacity ceiling, or at least you can not have one. You know, I, when I do business jam, there is a live element. This is not a passive course that I just enroll people in and then let them go free and they can find their own way and and find their own success. You know, I'm absolutely there, present. I run coaching sessions. I've got a VIP group and we do you know, an accelerated 10-week coaching block with the VIP group. So it was it's not a passive program and I didn't feel that I could make it fully a passive program because what we do is, is so strategic. So that to me was one of the choices and the challenges that I was going to have in trying to take what I did as one-to-one coaching and turn it into a group or an online program, a digital program. So I removed the capacity ceiling, but there was still, you know, there was effort involved, definitely. Um, so I had to look at, okay, well, how could I run it? You know, how long, how often, what will work for me? And of course, I'm always coming back to what do I actually want in my life? How do I want my lifestyle to be? Because I don't want to go and build something that then has me working 40 hours a week, working every day, late nights, weekends, you know, always feeling guilty for taking time away from the kids. 
that's not what I want. And, you know, I'm very passionate about fitness and exercise. You know, I want to be able to do that every day. And so for me, my top priority is not creating a business that actually takes me away from living the life I want to live. I was always 100% about, you know, I'm now in my early 40s. I want to be living my best life. The time is now. It's never going to be better. I'm never going to be younger than I am today ever again. So let's live it. Let's live the best life right now today and not wait for some time in the future to start living it. So that's just, I guess, my approach, my approach to business. I want to have my cake and eat it right now at all times. So be doing the best I can do at any point in my business. And I came up with a plan for Business Jam, a created Business Jam. And I fluffed around for probably about, well, it was actually close to 12 months. I think it was halfway through 2019. I really started getting serious. I was researching technology, what course platform I should build it on, you know, trying to get together some of my content that I'd already been using with my one-to-one clients and, and mapping out a course program. Yet it still took me until I was in 2020 and it was actually halfway through the year before I was feeling like I was ready to launch. And no, I had not created the whole program yet. I had mapped it out. I I knew what was in it. I had probably about 50% of the content. And what was stalling me? Well, I think my biggest fear, you know, and I'm someone with, as you would know, if you've been listening to me a lot, you know, I've got marketing experience. I've done launches of huge campaigns. I've launched businesses. I have launched events and run events for hundreds of people, live events, online ones. You know, I've literally done almost everything to do with marketing, but I had never, ever created my own online course before. I had never tried to launch an online course before. And I kind of felt like a fish out of water. I was like, oh, I'm not feeling confident. I don't intrinsically know what to do. That meant I was thinking everything through. And I'm an overthinker. Yes. I put my hand up and say, you know, I always tell people don't overthink it, keep it simple. And that's because I tell myself the same thing every day. (laughs) Stop overthinking it. Just keep it simple. Let's make a decision, move forward. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to actually take that next step and be aware of what's going on, you know, see what happens and then take that learning and learn from it, analyze it and, and make an improvement, right? An adjustment to get things working better because we always can improve. Um, you know, I don't think even the person who's got a business that's in the 10 millions of dollars every year, they would still be looking at ways they're improving and, and can improve and want to improve. There's always room for improvement in everything in life. You know, and that's a beautiful thing about it, I think, is no matter what, we create what we do, we can always be better. Long story short, I was stalled. I was stuck. I didn't know how to launch it. And that meant that I was just kind of hanging back and not doing it. And I thought, well, the longer I keep on hanging back and more likely all my content will get out of date. I'll start reworking things I've already done. You know, I'm just going to go round in circles and be busy creating all this stuff and not actually doing it, not putting it out there. And I had taken a bit of a step back from doing as many one-to-ones. So, you know, instead of having five or six, I was working with three or four clients so that I'd had the time to put into creating this side of the business. So what was holding me back? Well, yes, as I said, fear, definitely. That lack of confidence, uncertainty, not knowing how I was going to do this and and actually do it well. And that, One of the things now that I think about it as well, and you might laugh because maybe this has been you as well, but I think I felt like I had to make it a success straight away. Uh, And if I didn't, then people would judge me. So yeah, there was a big fear of judgment there. And looking back now, I can see that very clearly. At the time, it all seemed logical. I thought, no, I need to make this a success because I am, you know, I talk about how much experience I have in marketing and what if I put out a course and it totally flops, you know, that would be a disaster. I had all of this ego going on, fear of judgment and thinking everybody's going to be paying all this attention to what I'm doing when of course they're not. They've got their own lives. They've got their own things going on. No one's really going to know. But anyway, it was stopping me. It stopped me from doing what I actually was wanting to do with my business. And I had the plan. I knew what I wanted. 
I just wasn't doing it. That's when I decided at the time, well, I need to invest. And this was the first major investment I'd made in my business or myself, I'd say. You know, I was like, I I need someone who's done it before to tell me what to do. I need someone to give me a bit of a roadmap. Once I've got the plan in front of me, I can execute it. I can adjust it. I'll definitely make it my own because I'm one of those people. I never follow a recipe exactly. I always change something. So all I knew was I just need a starting point. I need something in front of me so that I can look at it and decide what works for me, what doesn't and roll with it. And that's when I did invest in a program, like in a program with someone I very much admired, successful, and most importantly, successful in launching online programs, online courses. So I took that leap. And do you know what happened within so it was about three weeks. I'd, I'd already put my launch out there because I thought, well, the only way to actually make this happen is to publicly commit to a date. So I had created a date for a free challenge, never run a challenge before, had no idea what I was doing, but I created a date for it, put it out there, started promoting it. And at the same time, I enrolled in this program. And so I had about three weeks until the launch, the date of the challenge starting. And I went on full throttle. I was like on a fire hydrant, trying to drink in all the information I possibly could, use what I could, throw it in there, adapt it. You know, I didn't have time to overthink it at all. I was just flying by the seat of my pants. But I launched Business Jam, my founding members launched for the first time. And I hit five figures in that launch, which actually just blew my mind because I had no idea whether it was going to be a success or not. You know, of course, we all want it to be, but you've got that little voice, the the voice that's saying, well, don't, you know, be realistic. It probably won't work. You know, there's lots of stories of people who create courses and programs and have many, many fails before they have a success. So I've been prepared for the fail and I was pleasantly surprised that it worked and Yes, it was a little bit messy, of course, as you can tell from throwing it together within three weeks. There was a lot that wasn't perfect. There was a lot of things going on, but that was my first group. And amazing, went from there, rinsed and repeated, did a very similar one the next time around, and then changed tack with my launching strategy. And I tried a different one, which is a three-day live launch. So teaching three different sessions live, which... I, I just love, you know, I love getting online. I love teaching. I love having that interaction, the live interaction and the, all the discussion, the comments and doing a bit of coaching on the spot as well. It's a lot of fun. But within that first year, you know, I, was, I thought, well, I'm still tracking, you know, I still want to have, you know, a bigger launch that, you know, I've heard, heard lots of stories. I was thinking I'm still not there. You know, I'm not doing these enormous launches like some people are and they're getting seven figures and, and what have you. I was a million miles away from that. So I was thinking, well, you know, I'm still at this early stage, but then I looked at the numbers and it almost blew my mind when I realized that I'd made over a hundred thousand dollars in just over a year in that first year. And that was just on the digital product side. So just from my course, I had a couple of little courses that I put out as well and a membership. And, you know, I thought, wow, when you sit back and look at that, that's pretty amazing considering I still had my one-to-one revenue coming in. And that just made me think, you know, this is interesting, isn't it? Because I didn't change how much time I was working. I just changed the things I was working on and I was able to add $100,000. And that's really just that beginning. That was the first year. You know, since then I went on and, and was able to launch another program that I booked almost $80,000 worth just as a first time I was launched a, this program. It was brand new one. And, and to get people in to make $80,000 again, almost blew my mind. And I thought, wow, you know, it's really great having a different, having the support and having that different way of looking at my business. But certainly the program that I'd been in had been instrumental in helping me do that because otherwise I was literally starting from a blank page, you know, and to be not starting from a blank page, that's exactly the kind of experience I'm trying to give my clients in Business Jam is, you know, we don't need to start from a blank page. Let's start from this page where you've got a framework there. You've got something, a structure, and then you apply your version. You apply 
how you want it to be. You apply your working hours that you want to work. You apply the things in, that matter to you because at the end of the day, if it doesn't work for you, then what's the point in doing it? You don't want to build my business because that's what works for me in my life. You want to build your business that works for you in your life. I'd never done a webinar before. I'd never done a challenge before. Um, I'd certainly never launched a digital product before I joined this program. So you can just see the difference in what I was able to achieve in just taking that big step. Now, this program, you may have heard of me talk about it before. It is called Business by Design and it's run by my coach and mentor, James Wedmore, who's incredible. I happened to meet him earlier this year in March and we had a in-person retreat for the, um, the Next Level Coaching Group that I'm part of and have been part of for over a year now. What an amazing experience. And I have to say that there's just a few things that made such a difference to me in Business by Design. And it was definitely understanding how to launch, but the fact that there was all of the processes of like, what do you need? What are the steps? What do you need to do? And, and some stuff that I hadn't, would never have thought of on my own. I absolutely would never have thought of doing. And I gave it a go. Like I'm not somebody who's very experienced on video. I'm certainly not professional in creating videos. I don't mind getting on and having a talk on Instagram or, or something like that, but I have, I don't produce amazingly looking professional videos, but you know, I, I got got stuck in and did some very amateur looking ones. James is a bit of a video expert, having had that as his sole business before he did business by design. So yeah, it's been interesting. And this is the program that is currently opening for the 2022 cohort. So James only opens once a year. And I remember actually looking at it in 2018 and thinking, oh, that would be great to do, but I'm just so not ready. And again in 2019, thought, yeah, oh, I'd like to do that, but I'll, I'll try to do it on my own. <laughs> that was the, like my 2019. I went, yeah, I'll, I'll do this on my own. I think I can figure it out. I'm smart, right? I'm a smart person. By 2020, I was going nowhere, but not very fast. And you know, what happened? Well, I invested in it. Three weeks later, did my first launch and hit five figures from that launch. So Yes, 100% worth it. Yes, it took all of the thinking and overthinking away from me and just helped me actually take serious action and make serious traction, um, which was awesome. With BBD, it's a great program. It's a big one and it's opening now, as I've just mentioned. Now, I know when I did it that I really valued all of James's calls. He does some live training sessions in there. He has a team of coaches as well who are there and available to help answer your questions. I found just the group size was so enormous that for me, I wanted a bit more personal attention. And you know that's certainly why I ended up joining his next level coaching group, because I wanted more attention and more ability to ask questions and actually have somebody help me and get to know my business. But I decided that for this year, 2022, if you're wanting to add an online course to your business and you join BBD using my partner link, which yes, I'm, I'm an affiliate for it because I completely believe in this program. As you can imagine, I'm in there my second year now. And have certainly had the success from it and more than I ever hoped. But I decided that for anyone who joins with my link, so anyone who's loved my story and thought, you know what, I'm going to join BBD as well, if it's the right fit for you, that I will host some extra coaching sessions just for my people to give you a bit more personalized attention for sure. So in a much smaller environment, in a really small group, because I'm sure there'll only be a handful of you. And do some coaching. You know, I'm, I've been in BBD for two years. I can answer so many questions and really help you to get more out of it. So, you know, we will break down James's trainings. We'll get in there, help you answer questions where I can add a lot of value is actually feeding off on what he teaches. So my niche is in niche strategy and James does teach some about niching. He, he has his own, um, what does he call it? Now your niche training. But 
what I do, I will help you apply that. And even with my own methodology as well, which I know works because it's what I do with my clients, we'll really get deep on your niche and help you figure out exactly what it should be. You know, the other area that I've got a lot of experience in is offer development and also helping you to see how you might be able to take your one-to-one and turn that into a program. So in that kind of program development area. So yes, I can absolutely lend you lots of ears and experience and advice with things that I've tried, things I haven't, launching the BBD processes, all of that stuff. So if you've been thinking about it, if you've been looking at James's program, not sure if it's for you, maybe a little bit scared about how many people are in there and the size of the group, then maybe this is a good option for you because you know, joining it with me means that we'll have about 120 days together. I'm, I'm calling it my accelerator group. So we will spend a little bit of time. We'll just do a coaching call together after each one of James's so that you can get, you know, get a little bit more focused attention because in the likelihood that you do get a hot seat with him, which would be amazing, um, you are in those trainings with a few hundred people and, and most people want a hot seat. So, um, you know, you're super lucky if you manage to get one. And, you know, I, I want to help you succeed. I want to help you succeed in BBD because it's certainly the program that has helped me. So if I can help you, then fantastic. So head over to my uh, show notes head over to the page there, grab yourself the link over to BBD. If it is still on waitlist, because when this episode goes live, I think we are a couple of days away from the doors actually opening. When it's still on waitlist, pop your name down on the waitlist. That means that you're going to get access. You'll get sent an email when the doors open. If you let me know that you're on the list, then I will definitely let you know when the doors are open too. So why don't we do that? Pop your name down. Then you'll get the information. You can have a look. You can decide, is this right for you? Is it not right for you? And if it is, go ahead and and join BBD. And then I will be spending a little bit of quality time with you and the others who join, you know, just a small group, get together on Zoom and just break down some of that amazing training because there is so much. It's incredible. You do feel like you're on a bit of like the end of the fire hydrant, drinking it all in. That's not something to be worried about. It's amazing. You get so much value. And if I can help you to apply that to your own business, then I think that would be of incredible value as well. And this accelerator group, this is at no extra cost, by the way. This is just, we'll call it my bonus. So if you're joining BBD with me, that is what my bonus is, my bonus to you. And yeah, let's do it you ever wondered what might happen if you added an online course or an online membership to your business? Now, what could that bring you? What are the possibilities? What is the earning potential? And when I tell you that when I made the decision to lean in and focus on creating and launching my own program, which is called Business Jam, I was able to add an extra 100K to my business in just a year then I'm sure you'll agree that that was a really, really good decision. It really helped me to scale and grow beyond what was even remotely possible before that. And the reason why I was able to do that in just one year wasn't because I already knew everything and I knew what to do and I knew how to launch marketing. No, it wasn't any of that. Actually, I had never launched an online course before. Um, I'd never built one before. I was completely new, learning it all from scratch. And that's why I invested in a program to help me, to help me jump through all that learning a lot faster, to stop the second guessing, to give me a really great roadmap so that I wouldn't make some of the really simple mistakes that many, many people make trying to create and launch an online course all on their own. Now this program opens up only once a year and the time it's opening for 2022 happens to be right now. So I thought it was a good time to mention it. And if you'd like to have a look and see what it is and whether it might be right for you, you is it going to be a right fit for you or not? Well, I don't know. That's up to you to decide. But the link for this program, it is called Business by Design by my mentor and coach, James Wedmore, who is one of the, I guess we call him 
the gurus of the internet world, the internet marketing world. He's been a game changer really for my business. I've met him in person earlier this year because yes, I'm still in the program. This is now my second year. We're coming up to the end of it. And you know, it's really helped me to grow a huge deal. And I went over to the US just a few months ago to meet him in person and attend our in-person retreat, which is for his Accelerator coaching group that I'm in. Yes, it's definitely worthwhile, but you know, it isn't going to be for everybody. I'm going to let you make that decision. I just wanted to share this opportunity with you because it comes around only once a year. And I know that when I first wanted to join, I didn't join the first time because I don't know why. I had a little bit of fear and whatever, and I had to wait a whole year to get in again. Right when I did join, I launched Business Jam for the first time just three weeks later. So I was literally on the fire hide, drinking in as much of the learning as I could in that time. I launched Business Jam and it was a five-figure launch straight up for my very first one, my founding members launch. So yes, it was absolutely 100% worthwhile for me. And I hope it would be worthwhile for you if it's the right fit for you. So head over and have a look at Business by Design, please grab the link from the show notes there that'll take you right to the correct page and see what it would be like for you. Maybe you can make this your year to have your transformation and to take your business to a whole new level, just like I did.